Hi all, it's Gav here from dartsplanet.tv and today I'm doing a slightly different video. I'm actually doing one on questions and answers. I know that many of you have asked me a number of questions in the comments and different bits um, on some of the YouTube um, videos and I've gone back doing it that way. So I thought it'd be fun to do some of the questions and answers about my favourite um, moments of darts and what I like and stuff like that. I will be playing this video in the background to make it a little bit more fun for you so you can see clips and jazz it up a bit. So, without further ado, I'm going to run through the questions, give you my answers um, and see what you think. Um, right, so we'll start off with, who is my favourite darts player? Without a doubt, my favourite darts player is Peter Snake Right Right. I, th I love everything about I like his character. I think he's really wacky on stage. I like his walk on music. I like his sportsmanship. I like the way he conducts himself. I think that he is a true professional of the game. So yeah, Peter Snake Mike Wright is without doubt my favorite um, darts player. Then a lot of people ask, what is my favorite tournament? Now for me personally, I like the Grand Slam of darts because I like the fact that you've got the PDC and the BDO going together for a week long in group stages and everybody gets a chance. So yes, you lose the first game, you can still redeem yourself and go through the other two. I think everybody has a fair chance in that and I like seeing the two organisations come together in that tournament. So that's my, my favourite tournament. Um, another one, a lot of people say to me, do I prefer the PDC or do I prefer the BDO? And without a doubt, I'm gonna be honest here, I prefer the PDC, I think the best players in the world playing the Professional Darts, darts, professional darts Corporation. Um, it's nothing against the BDO at all, but I personally think to have really made it and be a true champion, if you win it in the PDC, you can say I've done it. So that's my personal opinion on that one. My, what is my favorite walk-on? I've tried to find the footage for this. I don't know if any of you guys can help me in this video, but I can't find it. But it was Dementia Sulevich when he used to come on to Opus with Life Is Life because I loved the song. Um, a big Dementia Sulevich fan is really smiley, and I thought him and that music went together. I know he's got simply the best music now, but for me, that's not as cool as what his um, Opus walk on was Life Is Life. So if any of you can find that, let us know. Send us a link um, so that I can um, add it to add it to my website. Um, my favourite walk on girl. Now my wife's gonna. She's gonna ding me around the ear when she see this, so I need to be a little bit careful with this one. But without a doubt, it's um, there's been some great walk-on girls. They're all lovely, but I think that Daniela's, um, I think she's lovely. Uh, just, just brilliant. So I'm gonna move on from this one. But Daniela is my favorite um, walk-on girl. What is my favorite nine data? Without doubt, the rapid Ricky Deer Evans nine data in the 2017 World Championships when he hit nine darts in 9.40 seconds. Yes, there's been other really cool nine darts, but that, that one there was just amazing. Um, it was just the time and speed that he hit it in. We've obviously had back-to-back -back ones almost. Um, we've had two in one, one match. But rapid Ricky Evans, I don't think that will ever be beaten. I think, or if it does, it won't be in our time. So that's my favorite nine data. Um, who is my favorite ref? It's definitely Russ Bray, I love the deep voice. I don't know how he does that 180 call out, but um, I think he's brilliant. So Russ Bray is my favorite uh, ref, definitely. Who is my favorite commentator? Will anybody ever replace the great Sid Waddell? I don't think so. I think that he was amazing. I love all my, oh, my Geordie eyes. I can't do the Geordie accents, but my Geordie eyes. I can't believe what I'm seeing in the lipstick. And oh, so, I remember so many Christmases sitting there and I'd just laugh and he made my, you know, I'd be watching the darts. I think, God, where did he get that from? Legend. But for now, um, I think at the moment it has to be Chris Mason. I think the guy talks loads of sense. I think he's brilliant on, on the telly. I'd love to see him on Sky as well. So Chris Mason is the man for me at the moment for my favorite commentator. Um, what is my favorite moment? Now, I, I don't know about you guys, but this one will live with me forever. I'll never forget it. It was the Peter Manley versus Agent Lewis in the 2006 World Championship quarterfinal when they were playing. And I think Lewis was ahead. Um, and Manley started getting in his head and, start, and saying all stuff to Lewis. But Lewis actually got so annoyed. He actually walked off. I still laugh about it now. I'll play it back a few times. But for me, when somebody asked me what was my favourite moment, that definitely sticks in my mind. In my mind now, bloody Lewis. 
laughing when I'll be come back. It's brilliant. So that was my um that was my favourite um, moment in darts. What is the best checkout ever? The best checkout ever for me has to be um, Keith Dellett in the 1983 World Championship final against Eric Bristow where he went on to win 6-5. I remember Bristow taking a shot, um, not going for the ball and taking a percentage uh, shot. And Deller obviously got his famous 1-3-8 one one checkout with treble 20, treble 18, double 12 to become the 1983 World Champion. That, in my eyes, personally for me, will never be beaten. So that is my favorite checkout. What is my favorite darts brand? Do you know what? I don't know. I've got three or four sets of darts and doors that I've been playing with um, for a number of years. I've not bought a set of darts probably in the last seven years. I've got no packaging. I don't know what they are. Um, and I rotate between the three of them. I am looking at getting some um, very soon. So if you guys can suggest what brand you think is good, whether it's Red Dragon or whether it's Target or whether it's Phil Taylor or whether it's Unicorn, leave your comments below and let me know because I am on the lookout for some new darts. So that's one that I can't actually answer because I don't know what I'm using, believe it or not. I'll have to actually do another video and hold them up and see if you guys can help me. Okay, so what is my um, my favourite double? My favourite double is double 20. Tops for me is what I'm best on. I'm not amazing at any of them, but I do prefer um, at the top of the board. Uh, how many 180s have I hit? This is really bad and you're going to think this way. I've only hit three. I've only ever hit three. But please bear in mind, I don't play darts in league darts for the last 20 years. I go in and I mess about on the board um, for a few hours here and there and I play with the kids and that. And I will, if I went in there now for an hour, I would hit loads of 140s. Honestly, uh, and that's the truth. I'd hit loads of 140s, loads of 100s. But I never ever get a 180. When I get two, when I get 120 in my heart, I'm going to get one out and, and then I don't get one out. So maybe that's what it is. So, if you've got any tips on how I can get the last start in there to improve my 180s up a little bit, that would be absolutely amazing. But it is only free, unfortunately. What is my highest checkout? This was many, many years ago, and it's in a pub match. And again, it was only one free. Um, I think it was one free two. Um, for some stupid reason, I went treble 20, treble 20, um, double six. So that is how I got that. As far as I can remember, I don't think I've ever had anything like um, better. I think I've had a few 170 chances again. Um, but 132 is my highest checkout. Um, who is my all-time darts player? Do you know what? Over the years, I've loved so many people. I thought Jockey Wilson was great. Obviously, Dennis Priestley was amazing in his time. Um, John Lowe, Stoneface, you've got... Oh, there's, there's so many. You've got Eric Bristow. But do you know what? Even if I could bring them all back, for me personally, I still like Peter Wright. Peter Snake Bite Wright, for me, is the face of darts. He he, is, he brings huge crowds in, he's got huge fans, and as I said at the start, for me, Peter Snake Bite Wright is the best darts button. Well, I, I think he'll go on. I think he'll go on to win the Worlds and, and have a uh, an amazing career. Not that he hasn't already, but I just think that he is going to be adding loads more to it. So, these are my favourite bits, um, questions and answers. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do like my videos, Please like them and subscribe below. I've got loads more coming out. Um, and don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv where all the latest darts videos are being added every day with our little algorithm from YouTube. Until next time, um, that's it really. I'll catch you then. Bye. Bye.